Uh, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Rao. And here I've been working on this uh, Revell 68 Corvette L88 kit. And I've had this kit a number of years. And, um, you know, I've got a ton of kits actually that I've had a number of years as I've been building my stash up for more than 20 years. But anyway, um, this is one of the ones that I picked up early on. And it had been sitting in my stash for quite a while. And I don't know why I haven't built the 68. I've done the 69. And uh, but this is the first time I've done the 68 and they're both really good kits and I'm really enjoying it. And I don't have a finished 68 in my stash, which is one of the reasons why I kind of like, you know, don't have a roadster and I want to build this one. And it's been kind of bugging me. And even though I built uh, a number of Corvettes lately, so I decided I would get to this one. And uh, it's funny, it's got staple marks all over it because uh, one of the local guys that for whatever reason, he'd open them up, leave the plastic, staple the plastic all over it. Um, so it's just kind of funny. And I'd gotten a few from his collection that way. And this is one of them. But this is the L88 with the really hot 427 race motor. Uh, it was rated like 430 horsepower, but it was more like 500. But uh, here's some looks at the box art. And this kit's from 1988. So it's the original issue, an old issue. And uh, uh, to me, just a really cool car. But, you know, I decided I was going to build this one. So you've seen a few sneak peeks at it, so we'll show you where I'm at. So I got the chassis pretty much done. And this one has the actual exhaust instead of the side pipes, even though you can grab them from uh, any of the other kits and swap them. Uh, I was tempted to do that with this one, but decided I was going to leave this one with the full exhaust. And then there's the L88 motor with the L88 air cleaner. And then no fan shroud on the L88s. Um, not until later, I read about a bulletin where those were added. They had cooling problems, but originally they came without them, but um, they were added later. Uh, but uh, one of the few decals on it right there from the Tonawana engine plant. But uh, there's the engine and I painted the heads aluminum on it because uh, the L88 had aluminum heads and uh, iron blocks. But wasn't really sure. I seen some where the L88s where the heads were actually painted aluminum and some where the heads were left aluminum. Uh, not really sure what's truly correct on that, but uh, so I'm just uh, going with uh, this. And I've got a few little details left to do on this. I may paint uh, a little bit of gray on where the seal is supposed to be, even though there's really not a whole lot of room there, but just to make that kind of stand out. But uh, this is pretty much done. Put the gold shocks on it just detailed it up just a little bit but I had some fun building this there's the instructions uh interior is really far along uh finished that went with the basic black and then the gauges in there uh which i detail painted and dry brush painted and um didn't think about uh any of the extra details or looking for stuff until later unfortunately i went and dug out uh decals that like here's a, a set that uh, from one of the bald emotions. This set had gotten wet, but I had it in my stash. But this side was pretty clean. But there's some more of the engine decals. And it's got some gauge face decals, which I probably would have used but missed it. But no big deal. And then there's the one for the steering wheel. Which that one I may still add since it's a convertible and a steering wheel is very visible. But um, And then the cross flags and the 427 emblems and stuff. But... You know, this is just a spare kit. It's kind of funny how it says Baldwin Motion 68 Corvette when the Baldwin Motion kit's actually a 69. This was from 2002. So that kind of cracks me up. But, you know, I've had a couple of these for parts kits now because the decals that come in this kit, here's uh, one of the sets. It only has the front and rear license plate and then the engine decal that goes on the valve cover that I showed you. And then this one right here, which is the actual goes right on the console, which I put it right there. And it's the, the warning um, about, I forget what it reads, but I did look it up. But uh, yeah, there's a warning that goes right there. And then the, the L88s and uh, the ZL1 actually has that one also. But, you know, pretty pretty simple interior, but this has the 68 door uh, panels and a 68 dash. And it's the true L88, L88 dash, which has no uh, radio, no AC. And it has the actual... Uh, uh, lock cylinder up on the dash. Um, it doesn't want to focus on it, of course, but uh, which the 68 Corvette has, the 69 Corvette has it in the steering column. So 
pretty cool details that Ravel had given you, but really simple, easy to build. Here's the convertible top. It's in primer right now. I've been struggling with, do I want to paint this white or do I want to paint it black? And being it's a black interior and green car, I keep thinking going black with it, but that's the only reason why this hasn't been painted. The rear window has been polished and it's ready to be put in, but it comes with a hard top as well. So the hard top got painted green. I've seen a couple of these that are actually vinyl topped and I thought about that too. And I may just do that on another one, vinyl top it and give it a little bit of texture, but it'd be a removable hard top. Here's the firewall. Most of this is all ready to be glued in and assembled. Then the body that's almost finished. I've just got to paint the 427s on there a little bit better. Uh, the trim on the side here needs to be painted. And then uh, the push button, um, I'll use the multi-low pen on that. But the marker lights are foiled and painted. The whole rear end is done. I used the Corvette decal that was in that decal sheet across the thing. There's the L88 um, one that came with this kit. I got all the license plates in there and then the backup lights are back here. That's for 68. Um, so the backup lights aren't, aren't in the tail lights like they are in 69 and later. But 68 has them there. Um, don't have these glued on yet. They'll get glued on later. But I got the whole front done. You can see a bare spot in the red plastic on the nose there. I'll touch that up with the Motolo pen. But uh, put the cross flags on the nose and on the uh, the gas door right there. So body's pretty much done. Got the inside rear view mirror hanging in there. Uh, the glass polish, which I did a video of that. So that's all finished and done. And uh, so she's getting there and she's pretty much ready. So getting really happy with this one. Um, but I figured I would show it to you before I put it all together. And one of the last things I like to do, you can see the bottom of the L88 hood there. And this hood is specific to the L88. Glued in the inner fender so that the, it holds the hood in place. But I blacked out the whole inside. And it's all brush painted, but I blacked it all out. And the main reason... I do that on ones like this is when you put the chassis in, there's sections of it that you're going to see. So I like those to be fully blacked out or body color, depending on the thing, but I'll try and paint the whole inside body color uh, as much as possible and clear it inside. But this one, it's all blacked out. And uh, a lot of Corvettes is really unpainted fiberglass and you can see it, but um, blacked out the inside of the taillights, the backside of the taillights, because sometimes you can see those as well. Um, not so much on this particular one, but I've seen it. And then uh, the exhaust cutouts, which I forgot to paint those or cut those out when I painted it. So I painted it, realized it, cut those out, then I had to touch up the paint there. And then uh, the chrome isn't the greatest on this particular kit. I and mean, I'll have to touch up the little red spots there with the Motolo pen as well. Molotow, what it, whatever it's called, I can never remember. Um, I don't know why. Some things I can remember, some things I can't. But um, this thing's looking really sharp. I'm really happy with it. And it's going to be done here real soon. One of the other things that uh, really looks good on this one, here's the exhaust tips and here's the rear view mirror. I had some fun doing these tires. Now, of course, they're rally wheels. And then there's a little bit of steel in there and then the black uh, holes. But I also got black on the ribs on a side panel and then right in the center of that you can see the black in the middle of the cap there so I got that blacked out and of course I painted the the white line on it too because some of these Corvettes had white line tires in 68 it was an option so I decided that I was going to do it on this one even though I'm not too much of a fan of the white line tires on the Corvettes I like the red lines um, or the letter tires but uh, so I got all four of these done and those are looking sharp. I think they're going to look really sharp when they're on that. Just kind of give it a little bit of a classy look, a little bit of a sleeper look. It's like, all right, um, a little bit more of a mundane, not so dressed up, aggressive Corvette with that color there, which that's supposed to be the British Racing Green Metallic. It, it seems a little light to me, but this is scale finishes paint and then my automotive clear coat on top of it. But looking really good. I was just expecting a little bit of a darker color. But uh, that's what uh, this is, or at least that's what I think it is. But anyway, I, I got the bottle of paint over here, so. Yeah, it's British Racing Green Metallic. So this is what I painted it. But uh, yeah, I was expecting a little bit of a darker, darker color, but 
still interesting color and I, I'm enjoying it. I do like the color. Here's that other tire. So this one's just about ready to get put together. Got a couple little detail things to finish up, paint the top, uh, whichever color I choose, whether it's white or black. But I'm uh, really leaning. But I'm really black leaning towards black on this one at this point. You know, I, I don't know about a white. I don't top, know about a white green, top, and then green, everything else and everything fully black. Else but fully black. I'm gonna go check out. I'm gonna go check out a few of those. Uh, see if I can find any examples of what color tops they have. And here's the side chrome. Side chrome. Which most of this should be black. From the reference ones I've seen for 68. But anyway, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all your comments. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this comment, please subscribe. Really do. Appreciate it and thumbs up uh, and hit the bell button to get all my latest uploads and everything. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Saturday.